Hello friends, welcome to EduFarm, your one-stop solution to GPAC and IPAD JEE. Today's topic is plant growth regulators and plant tissue culture. So let's begin. Now the first topic, plant growth, growth regulators. First growth regulator is auxin or indole acetic acid. Indole acetic acid or auxin promotes the elongation of the coleoptile tissue. Now some other natural auxins other than IAA are IAN which is indole three acetonitrile. Then there is four chloro indole three acetic acid and there is phenyl acetic acid. Now the synthetic some synthetic auxins are IBA or indole three butyric acid and alpha naphthyl acetic acid. or NAA so in exam the short form may also come in the long form may also come so you have to remember both the things then there is one naphthyl acetamide then Two four dichloro phenoxy acetic acid now IBA and NAA are used in combination in routing of the cut in parts. Now the second growth regulator is gibberellin. Now gibberellin A or GA is a mixture of at least 6 gibberellins that is GA1, GA2, GA3, GA4, GA7 and GA9. The GA3 is known as Gibberellic acid. Now, gibberellins are more effective in intact plants, while auxin has effect on the axial excised organs. So, when the plant is cut and is done tissue culture, then auxin is more effective than gibberellins. Now, what is the mechanism of action of gibberellin? It is that it interacts. with several components involved in protein synthesis. So 
So the mechanism of action is that it interacts with several components involved in protein synthesis. Now, GA3, what it does is it is that it induces activity of gluconeogenic enzyme during germination. So this is the action of gibberellic acid or GA3. Now the third plant growth regulator is cytokine. So some natural cytokine is Z18 which is which helps in cell division and leaf senescence and synthetic cytokinin like kinetin helps in lateral but development Z18 N6 dimethyl aminopurin, N6 delta 2 isopentanyl aminopurin, these are some naturally occurring cytokines. And kinetin, adenine, 6 benzyl adenine benzimidazole, and NN diphenyl urea, these are examples of synthetic cytokines now the fourth plant growth regulator is abscisic acid as the first three plant growth regulators were promoting the growth of the plant abscisic acid is a growth inhibitor these the action of abscisic acid is that it helps in speed and bud dormancy. It also controls size of the organ and stomatal closure. Now some other synthetic inhibitors are maleic hydrazide, glyphosine, then clonequate chloride and SSS tributyl phosphorotrithioate. Now the next part is plant tissue culture. So in this part we will only discuss about the nutrient medium for plant tissue culture which contains five classes. First of all the one is inorganic salts which are required are zinc, magnesium, copper. Then vitamins which are included or required are thiamine, pyridoxine, nicotinic acid and myoinositol. But thiamine or vitamin B1 is the only vitamin essential. Rest can be present that is pyridoxine, nicotinic acid can be present. The next nutrient medium is carbon source. Now the carbon source is basically sucrose or glucose which is 2 to 4 percent. Now growth regulators what we have earlier studies that is IAA and cytokinins 
are required. Now, organic supplements. The organic supplements contain protein, hydro, lysates, yeast extract, malt extract, and coconut milk. The liquid endosperm of coconut milk is required. Coconut milk, that is the liquid endosperm is required. So that's all for today's video. Hope you like the video. Please share it with your friends and subscribe our channel for further updates. Thank you.